Do you want to add some garden lighting, whether it be to light up plants, light up your drive with some bollards, or some recessed lighting in your decking? Well, I've got the perfect plug and play solution that does not require an electrician. And you can end up getting amazing results like this with just a short amount of your time. Even though I'm an electrician, garden lighting can be a bit of a nightmare. You need to use armoured cable, then you have problems glanding, terminating and maintaining earth continuity. And that is why I've gone for a low voltage option. Now this is a, a Lumiere kit and it's a plug and play system, which basically means you plug one end in with the transformer and you can add or subtract lights as you go. So I've opted for a starter kit so we'll see what's in the starter kit and what optional extras we can get depending on what you want. So in the kit, the first thing you get is the transformer and this is what powers your lights. Now this is 100 watts, which is quite powerful, but something that's really important is IP67. And that basically means that it's 100% protection against solid ob objects like sand and dust. But more importantly, this will work when submerged under a meter of water for a guaranteed 30 minutes now we're only going to mount that on the side of the fence so at the worst case it might get a bit of rain on it so it'll be more than ample to sit outside and that is what it's designed for so in the box you also get a 10 meter cable and that is ideal to come from the transformer to run to your first light because some lights will not be positioned right near the transformer and it does depend on your personal circumstances the next thing you get is three one meter leads and that allows you to connect them to the lights and give you a bit more freedom to move the lights to where you want them so onto the lights themselves these are spotlights that come with the kit but like i said you can get different lights you can get lights that are recessed for decking or drives and you can also get bollard lighting like you can see on the screen so these particular spotlights you've got two options you've got a spike that literally you just push that into the bottom that clips into place and you can push that into the ground and then you can angle that light wherever you like the other option is one of these bases it's like a foot push that into the bottom and then there's a thumb screw here you can tighten that and put the light pointing to wherever you want it it'd be ideal for flat surfaces or if you want to screw the light to something itself now how these lights connect to the cabling that is the most important thing and it's the easiest thing to do so these are a two prong system low voltage system and if you get your splitter you literally just push that in screw that up and that is the light connected you then do the same with the cable and another cable and you can just join them so on until you get the achieved lights that you want so the limitations to this system are that you can only have 50 meters of cabling now 50 meters is quite a lot but it does also include the meter lights to, the meter leads to the lights and also any links in between so you do have to take that into account and the other thing you're only allowed up to 12 of these lights in any one system powered by a transformer so before you start actually installing lights or the transformer the first thing i'd recommend is trying to plan out where you'd want the lights what you'd like to be illuminated if you're using spotlights like this they're quite directional <laughs> So you can almost plan where them lights are going to go. Once you've planned that, you can work out what cables you need because you might not have enough in the kit. So what we've done is we've got a drawing of this area. We've roughly worked out where the lights are going to go, what length cables we're going to need. So now all I've got to do is position each light and then we can run the cables between them. And I'll show you just how easy it is to plug them together. So to mount the transformer, I put it somewhere out the way. Now I'm actually going to make a cover for this to 
sort of disguise it really and protect it a little bit even though it doesn't need it so to mount it what i'm going to do is plug that in making sure that the socket is switched off that way we know roughly how much cable we've got and where we can put it and then what i'm going to do is actually line this up i've just got some short screws because i'm only screwing it into this little bit of a gravel board and then literally we can screw that into place the first light is actually three meters away from the transformer and these leads or cabling comes in either one meter two meters or five meters so what i'm going to actually do is join these together and like i said before they literally you just line them up push it in and then that just screws in and that will give you a watertight seal so now I'm just going to plug that end into the transformer and then we'll come round and put a join in for the light. Because this is a low voltage system, you don't have to worry about protecting the cables as such. If you were to cut through them by accident, all that would happen is from that point on, the lights would stop working and you just have to replace that bit of cable. So what I've done to route them, I'm just lifting the plants out of the way, tucking the cable in into position and then that allows us to come to the first light so all we're going to do is add one of these splitters in it's exactly the same system you just push that in tighten it up and do the same with the light and then you can continue that on to each individual light and then i'll show you when we get further on how you can finish the system off and not leave any open ends so when you come to the last light, you don't need a splitter. You can take that out. And the reason you don't need a splitter, because if you put a splitter, you're gonna end up with an open end and that can get water into it and cause you problems. So all you do is connect the last light into the socket, screw that up, and then you can put the light, the last light, wherever you want. And that ensures the whole system is waterproof. So the final thing is to check that each light works. So what we're going to do is plug that in. I can then turn that on. And then once it goes through the transformer, the lights come on. Now this socket is a little bit different because it's powered from the driveway lights and the gate lights. So this only comes on at night and it will come on for a few hours and then go off. So all these then become automatic. So let's go around and just check each light. So we just make sure that they're all working they're all operating it's a bit difficult to see because it's daylight at the minute but i'll come out later on tonight adjust each light and show you how you can move anything about so each and every light is all working i can see they're all working however if we go back to this section here where otis is we've got the first light over there and then we've got a big gap from that light all the way around to this second light and actually it's too much of a gap i think so we've got a spare light and we've got a spare splitter so from there to there was three meters a two meter lead and a one meter lead so what we're going to do is t into it so i'm just going to turn them off t into it put the extra light in so you can find the join undo it put the t piece into that join Just make sure they're nice and tight and then you can tuck the cable in away like we have done for the rest of the lights and then you can work out where you want to put your additional light i'm just going to put it in anywhere and then once it's dark tonight i'll be able to move it about now the good thing is that each light has actually a bit of cable which allows you a bit of leeway where you can actually put the lights themselves. So as you can see, the lights look really, really good. And I'm really pleased with the overall results. And what you can do now it's getting dark is you can alter each light and point them exactly where you want and it's quite surprising actually how much light they give off so i hope you like the video don't forget give this video a thumbs up 
most importantly leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great DIY videos.